Good morning, everyone. So I'm Stuart Wagner from Cranfield. So I'm here today with um, project partner Zingas Products and representing West Africa Energy, who unfortunately couldn't attend today. So we've been working on a project looking at converting pyrolysis oils into valuable chemicals and fuels. So working with Zingas Products, who have a one megawatt facility down in Dorset, analysing the waste materials that is fed into that facility, converting into oils. So this builds on from a successful Energy Catalyst Round 3 project, which um, Thingas Products and Cranfield University worked together on to demonstrate or to deliver a deeper understanding of, our chemi of the chemistry of a pyrolysis process, looking at refuge-derived fuels. Uh, we, we assessed the market potential for um, the high quality, we're assessing the, high, um, the market potential for high quality chemicals and fuels from this process. So at the moment there is a, a yield of oil which currently has no onward demand, so we're looking at converting that material into usable chemicals and fuels. And this has, this has a place in the UK for transport fuels, low carbon transport fuels, alternative transport fuels, and in the, the developing world context, they use um, diesel for their backup generators. So we could be potentially provide them with a low carbon, local produced fuel. So the, the process in Dorset, operated by Syngas Products, is a pyrolysis facility. And you can see there with the arrow, pointing at the gas cleanup, which is where the oil is um, condensed out of the gas stream. This is a mixture of heavy and light oils containing a, a vast range of aromatic compounds, which could then be used for onward processing for, for chemicals and fuels, like I say. Um, the original NG Catalyst Round 3 project looked at the, the pyrolysis itself and the gas yield. This new project builds on a chemical understanding of the oil yield and composition. So here's a picture of the plant. So um, it's, it is a real plant, it does exist. And we've been taking samples from throughout the, throughout the process, the beginning and the oil itself and analyzing the chemical composition of that, the physical composition and looking at the fractions contained within the oils to assess their <laughs> potential for reprocessing. So I'm hoping there's a few chemists in the room that can, um, can appreciate that naphthalene and all the complex aromatic compounds, which currently for hazardous materials, we need to do something extra to, for, to turn them into usable products. But first, we need to understand what, what exists and what's the opportunity for converting those into reusable organic chains that we can um, use as liquid fuels. So we've identified so far that we could, we, could use, we could use this oil fraction, we need to do some fractionation, we need to do some hydrogenation to crack those aromatic compounds into, into long chain carbons. Um, there is there's a significant opportunity in the UK for using this as a feedstock for low carbon transport fuels. There's also an opportunity for using these in <coughs> developing countries for transport fuels themselves or for diesel backup generators for use by the local people producing the local fuels. So it's a nice circular, circular, um, circular dream we have on this project. So we're on stand 51, so please do come and have a chat. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much.